What's up, creator? I'm going to show you how to create this cool animated TV effect using stream effects in conjunction with Photomosh. Let's get some. Electrify your online presence with live streaming. Now, the reason you may want to use this is that you could have a really cool countdown with a TV with maybe you dancing inside of it. Or maybe you could have like a news at 11 news broadcast announcing some kind of event on your show. And this can all be done live. And one of the hurdles that needs to be overcome here is making sure that the image of your face matches the three-dimensional placement of the photo of the TV. So, for example, not all TVs directly face the camera. Sometimes they're turned on an angle. So, for example, let me show you. So here we have a television. It's turned on the x-axis. And if I remove the screen and put the image behind it, I have to also turn my video feed as well to match the three-dimensional placement of the TV. So I'm gonna teach you the incredible power of the Stream Effects plugin, which allows you to modify your video feed in three-dimensional space, which is incredible, it's so powerful. And then I'm gonna show you the super cool effects that are generated with a Photomosh online application, and it's 100% free. This is gonna be a killer, absolutely killer tutorial. Let's go. A big thank you to Paul and Mark for the fantastic donations. Thank you so very much, I appreciate it. You guys are fantastic. Thanks for supporting the show. If you'd like to download TVs that will allow you to progress with the tutorial, just click the link to the zip file in the description and you'll have all the files that you need. There's two TVs in there and they're all masked out and ready to be used. If you signed up to the three-dimensional subscribe and bell campaign, I have sent you 25 televisions, all different colors, all different aspects in regards to their placement in three-dimensional space different time periods. I've got some from all the way back in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. Enjoy them. They've all been prepped and ready for usage. Enjoy those. Let's get started with the tutorial. Let's get some. Okay, in order to get this up and running, you need to install Stream Effects. The installation is pretty cut and dry. Just Google Stream Effects OBS. You'll find it instantly. I'll put a link in the description for you as well. Once you get here, turn, turn off, off OBS, OBS, go to the download button here in the upper right-hand corner, it will take you to GitHub, of course, and you scroll down, and then you'll see this under Assets, all these different downloads. We have a Mac download. It's a PKG. We've got a bunch of Linux downloads here, and, of course, we have a Windows.exe, which is fantastic. Just download the exe, execute it. Of course, scan it for viruses, but there will be none. Uh, execute it, and it will run through the process. Absolutely make sure OBS is shut down. Let it do its magic, and you're good to go. Now, the other program that you need is something called Photomosh. So you can go to that. It's photomosh.com and we will dig into how to use this. We're going to be using our webcam. So I will explain the process. It's not hard. Let's get into it. Okay, my friend, here we are in OBS Studio. If you don't see the Stream Effects button here in the navigation, it means that Stream Effects was not properly installed. Consider shutting down OBS and bringing it back up if you installed it, and you should see it. Now let's drop in some graphics. I'm going to put a background image here, and I can just drop it right into the source box, and it will be registered as an image source. And you can see why it's important to name your files that identify what they are. You don't have to bother renaming any kind of a source. It just names itself. And as you can see, the graphic is way too big for the viewport. So I'm going to hit the very important command, Control F. And that shrinks it right down to the viewport and fits it in there perfectly. This is a very important keystroke. Remember this keystroke. Okay, let me drop in the other one. It's the transparent ping of the television. And when I drop that in, boom, it puts it in no problem. I'll hit Control F. Kaslammy and it's full screen. Okay, here we are in Photomosh. That's how they say it in the States. I think they say it like this in France. Photomosh. <laughs> when you get here, you can upload an MP4 and apply the Photomosh effects to an MP4 if you wanna pre-produce a video for your TV, but we're gonna use the killer webcam application, which is this button on the right here. So if I click that, boom. We are in business. We have a live webcam coming in into a website and all these wicked cool parameters on the right hand side here in this navigation can be applied. So let's go into the scan lines parameter. I'll click it and hit the on button right here and bam. That alone looks like a television, does it not? You can change the size of the scan lines. You can make them super fat. You can increase the noise. 
that looks like TV. So if you wanted sort of like an undistorted TV kind of a feel, this is what you could use. Now I'll uncheck this and go over to something called, it's up towards the top here, bad TV. Check this out. If I check this off, it does this kind of a thing. Check that out. Now, if you don't want it to do this vertical scrolling kind of effect, you can take the roll speed and turn it to zero, and then you have these different effects. So that's sort of a subtle TV feel. So if I, I do kind of like that effect, I'm going to turn the scan lines on top of that, and now we have two effects in one. Tell me that's not cool right now. Is that incredible? Okay, so we're going to let this play. We got two effects. We're going to let this roll. We're going to go back into OBS Studio. So we're going to hit the plus sign in Sources. We're going to select Window Capture. Hit OK. And you could bring this in as a browser capture too, I believe. Uh, I'm going to select Window Brave Photomosh. Select that. Boom. We're in OBS Studio. How cool is that? Now you can see now that there is an audio delay. The audio is not matching up with my mouth. My it looks to be about a half second delay. So we'll try to remedy that in the mixer. We'll see if we can pull it off. I'll hit OK. And now I will hit my Alt key and I'll bring this down so I don't see the browser window frame or anything like that. They call it Chromeless in the web business. And that looks just about right. There we go. Looks good. Okay, moving on. Okay, we're gonna click the window capture layer and drag it underneath the TV photo. Okay, you can see where this is going now, right? This is getting good. I'm gonna hold the Alt, well, I I'm, I'm actually won't hold the Alt key. What I'm gonna do is shrink this down just a little bit just to bring it so that it's, I don't know, it just needs a little bit of adjustment in regards to size. Now I'm gonna hold the Alt key and get those edges cropped in a little bit. Let's see, let me make it a little bit wider. Get my face, that's where I want my face. And we'll just crop it in as best we can. Get that crop down right there. Good. Okay, now we're gonna right click that source layer, go into filters, hit the plus sign in filters and select 3D transform. This is a stream effects filter. Hit okay. And now things get super duper interesting. What we're gonna try to do is mimic the shape of the TV. So it looks like the upper right hand corner is sort of jutting out to the right. So top right X, I believe. See how it stretches it? You wanna try to mimic the shape of the TV. Top left goes on the outside a little bit like that. And let's see, the bottom left comes in. Yep, yep, yep. That looks good. I think we're there. I don't want to do the vertical adjustment on the bottom left, so that's okay. We'll leave that at 90. I'll put 90. Okay, we're getting close, but watch what happens when we try to resize the bounding box here to fit inside the screen area of the television. If we try to get one edge to come in, we can get pretty close, but on the left-hand side, we still have the green shot showing through. If we try to bring that in close then we have a gap up here on the right hand side so that won't work so what we have to do is we have to add an image to make the crop right so let's go into the window capture we'll right click go into filters hit the plus sign and we're going to select image mask blend okay hit okay to that and it's default to alpha mask that's what we want i'm going to hit browse right here and it's going to want to know what file can I use to do the masking with? And basically it's just a black and white image. The black represents what gets blocked. Black is blocked and white shows the image. So I have this little graphic here. I'll select it called mask.jpg. Hit open, hit close. And look, it's almost there. Can you see it? It's almost cropped perfectly. And all I have to do now is just bring this edge down and bam. Do we have it on the top inside here? Let's see. I'm going to hit the Alt key and bring that edge up just a little bit. Perfect. So look how the mask just fits it in there. That <laughs> is just so funny. This is going to be a blast for your live show. So what we've learned here today is the power of stream effects, the power of photo mosh, and the power of image masking. All three combined to create this fantastic effect. I've been exposed to Photomosh on and off for a while now. 
I knew there was a pro version and I kind of like rolled the dice and just shot an email out to the guys over at Photomosh and hooked up with a guy named Felix. I said, Felix, can you shoot me a serial number so I can demonstrate the pro version to show my homies on my channel? He said, yes. He sent me a serial. I installed it. It's 256 megabytes in size. It's a big program. It's powerful. I installed it and my mind was blown. It's got a music visualizer built into it. It is next level. I'm going to make a demonstration to show you what this thing can do. It's a one-time buy for 50 bucks. I am definitely buying it. You can check out the review right here. Stay strong and keep fighting. Don't let the negativity of this world get you down. Stay in a positive spirit and it will carry you through. Do not give up. I will be there with you the whole time. Stay strong and keep fighting. Yeah.